Thanks to Mike Arsenault for that update. 895 millibars. What does that mean? Well, that means uh, an exceptionally strong storm system. That was the central pressure of the super typhoon earlier today. Uh, it's bearing down on the Philippines where it is early morning, maybe still pre-dawn uh, in many areas. It's a powerful storm we are following there. More coming up here in the program. Great to see you. It's five after five. And these bands of lake effect showers mixing with some snow, rain and green, snow and blue, and it's coming our way. The winds have been westerly today. They'll tilt more northwesterly tonight. And when that happens, this sets up the classic, the epic wind, that uh, squall rather, that can drive in because of the wind from Lake Superior, sometimes follow number one, all the way down into New York State. That's the longest fetch. We get bands coming off Toronto, Georgian Bay, and Lake Huron as well. The formation of lake effect snow and the winds are already starting to pick up just a little bit close to 40 now around kitchener waterloo you may see a few centimeters of snow tonight the winds tilting to the northwest and that sets up our uh, our situation here we are this weekend marking a very uh, somber and very important anniversary uh, one of the most impressive and sadly deadly storms across the great lakes you may not have heard of it the 9th of november 1913 so it's the 100 year anniversary all hands lost on many ships we'll have more on the weekend and online of course as well rain yes certainly snow coming up you know, many Canadians don't. Many Canadians do, and you have to put chains on your cars on a day like today in B.C. They're not getting two centimeters of snow. They're getting 20 across the passes. But overnight tonight, and it could be five plus, some sections of Highway 10, 89, and 6, that's that lake effect snow coming down towards Toronto, probably staying out of the city Friday. And colder air in the west, oh, that's coming our way through Sunday and Monday. But we enjoyed that extra hour of sleep last week. I can't believe it denial here. Can't believe it is dark outside already. Low pressure to our east and west, which sounds like maybe we're a calm after that big rain last night. Rain and wind has moved on to the Maritimes. A soaker there, and we are seeing snow, not just overnight tonight, but uh, John DeGarris, my director, just told me, just have another little look at this, Suzanne. And sure enough, just in the last little while, a lot of cold air filtering in downwind of Georgian Bay. I've been tracking the snow in Muskoka for the last little while, but filling in around Barrie and maybe down towards Keswick. Can it be long for the... Uh, can it be long for the new market area? All right, cold enough for snow tonight, Chrissy. There it is. It's official. <laughs> Get to the weekend in just a second. Thanks, Suzanne. And you know what? It is exciting to see the white stuff approaching because we all know Toronto Santa Claus Parade coming up next Sunday and lots of things not too bad coming through Mississauga Road. But if you're traveling eastbound, that's bulked up with some congestion. So, Suzanne, unfortunately, not as bad as yesterday, but still seeing some heavy delays today. Thanks for the update, Chrissy. And again, if you're just joining us, an update around Beaverton and Barrie and Aurelia and Penetang, all in that area, getting some lake effect snow now. And it'll continue to be more widespread overnight tonight, tomorrow morning, a cold start, plus one. Toronto, a high of seven, a few showers possible on Saturday, and likely also Remembrance Day on Monday. November the 7th, and ski hills are opening up in Banff National Park tomorrow. And snow is falling in BC, Alberta, Manitoba, Quebec, Labrador, and Ontario right now. And conditions across northern Ontario are starting to progress further south. If you're just joining us, and it was 5, almost 5.30 now in the GTA, and we've been looking at a few passing showers, yeah, east side of the city earlier today, and over towards Goderich and Port Elgin, a few showers. But unmistakably, seeing some of this precipitation change now from rain to snow around Barrie, around Wasaga, Penetang, and continuing up towards Perry Sound. Yes, across Lake Simcoe, over towards Beaverton as well. The winds are west to northwest, and that northwest flow really rather beautifully sets up what can be uh, snow squalls that are several hundred kilometers long. They can stretch all across the Great Lakes, even down into New York State. And we get shorter bands, and sometimes very impressive ones as well, setting up across Lake Huron, Georgian Bay, both to the north and also to the south. Around Collingwood today, we've had some gray skies, snow threatening, and then uh, snow moving in for the overnight hours. Love it when the computer crashes. John, should we try one more time? We'll be bold. <clears throat> we will be bold. And try one more time. There we go. And wind and cold air, the two key ingredients to set up lake effect snow. It's a really neat thing.
the uh, lakes store the heat energy of the summer, and then they release it in the fall when we get these stronger winds. And the gusts are starting to pick up a little bit, close to 40 kilometers an hour around Kitchener. Weak trough of low pressure, to some degree, helping to funnel those winds. And blue areas here, that's the light precipitation. It will brighten up during the course of the day. Tomorrow, we may see a few passing little flurries around Georgetown or Brampton or Caledon, but really the further north you go is the likely area to see a rain snow mix for tomorrow. So few showers, couple centimeters, mainly outside the GTA, but very close. We're at that time of year where it doesn't take much to bring it towards Richmond Hill. Partly sunny lake effect mix and a big story for the weekend, of course. In case you haven't heard, they're getting more snow and more Arctic cold air in western Canada. And look at this blue coming our way.